Hello and welcome to our short demo of filing EEIs from Magaya to the ACE portal. Uh, this video is assuming a couple of things. First of all, that you're already familiar with how to file EEIs from Magaya to AS Direct, uh, so I'm only going to highlight the changes. Secondly, that you already have set up your ACE account. If not, please do so now because their support is already experiencing a backlog of several days and if you run into issues creating an account close to the April 30th deadline it'll certainly be difficult to be able to contact them quickly. And we have published links to ACE's help as well um, in our newsletters and here even on our page one and we will continue to do so. So even on page one here as you could see you could find links on creating an ACE account. Okay, so let's start by looking at the configuration in Magaya. First of all, if you go to the US Customs system setting, you will notice a new checkbox, Enable ACE Portal. We, when you check this, we also check the Use Testing Environment box for you, just to try to direct you to their training slash testing environment first but you can uncheck this one which will effectively make you live. Uh, the username and password here are not your AES direct username and password but already from your new new um, ACE system. So let's save this and let's go file some shipments. So I have pre-filled the uh, shipment information here and I'm not going to go into the details uh, of the individual fields because according to US Customs the data validation rules have not changed between the two systems. Uh, we did find a few little things, uh, most notably I'll just show you one thing here that if you are used to filing with the C33 license type, no license required, then the license number used to be blank but now they require that you submit NLR for no license required on the license number field and we're helping you do that by actually pre-filling it automatically here if you choose C33. Um, there may be other little things coming up because it is a new system indeed but this is one thing for example that we have noticed so far. Okay uh, then other than that, I'm not really going to focus on data here and just uh, will show you the process uh, that happens after you hit the send button uh, in the EEI filing process. So I'm just quickly going to proceed. As you can see, it'll pass the validation. Hit the send button here and we're on our first new screen. Uh, as we can see, this is no longer the reddish AES direct interface, but the new ACE portal instead. And I'll proceed to log in here. So I've, I've entered my user ID and password here of my new ACE portal and I'll click login. Now this login dialog will only appear uh, if your previous session has timed out, which they say is about 20 minutes. Um, so uh, on our second shipment, for example, we sh wouldn't have to log in theoretically. Okay. Um, once we've logged on, we get to the shipment submission screen, which resembles a lot uh, the one in the AES Direct portal. Also, do note the orange training environment banner across the top. If that's present, you're testing. You're not in the production environment, and your EEI will be submitted to the test servers only. Um, I can move through the tabs to see my data being pulled from Magaya or I can just proceed to the submit button directly which is in the bottom of the screen here. So now we come to the biggest, most important and most unfortunate change in the user experience um, compared to the old AES Direct portal. Uh, it used to be that once you hit submit You've done everything on your part to file the EEI and get the results back into Magaya. In the ACE portal, however, once you hit submit and get this pop-up with the results, you will have filed the EEI, but you must click this button 
for the results to be pushed back to Magaya as well. So I repeat, you must click back to trade websites for the results to go back to Magaya. If you click any other button or close this message, you will still have filed your EI and you will get the ITN number via email notification, but the EI results in Magaya will show blank. So once again, the most important thing to remember is to click back to trade website on the pop-up success uh, message. So let me just do that and the rest is easy again. I'll close the success screen and I'm on my shipment in Magaya. To see the results, which will now populate since I clicked the correct button, I'll pull them from the same menu option as before, EIAS results. It'll take a couple of seconds, here we go, our ITN number. And uh, do note as well that I have already received the confirmation email. That happens really, really fast um, in the ACE portal, at least in our experience. Another little fact about the notification email is that it will go to the ACE account owner and the user who filed EI. That's by design. There's no way around it. So the account owner will get many emails in companies where there are several people filing EIs. So just to show you the process again without all these explanations and uh, demonstrate that it's actually pretty fast and straightforward with that additional click of a button, I'll just file another one here quickly. I'm already logged on. My session is active. It'll take a couple of seconds. Pull the data from Magaya. Click Submit. Click Back to Trade Website. Close this screen. And pull my results to see that I did get the ITN number back. So this is the ideal scenario. Um, the next part of the video will discuss some troubleshooting cases, things that could potentially go wrong uh, for different reasons. Stay tuned. Thank you.